It's a culture. And when you're in the industry, when you're creative, and when you're talented, and when you're gifted, watch your children. Stop sending your children off with people. Stop sending them. And, and a sh shame on you that you don't know where your son and daughter's at. You're the one that needs to go to jail. Am I talking right? God didn't give us these babies. Stop handing your children over to people. And when children are babies, you don't let everybody hold them. Rubbing their head and all of that. You better tell them, no, no, you don't. I didn't say be paranoid. People are mean. We never had, wish I had time to talk about we never dealt with this suicide like we're dealing with it because, listen, when they brought our parents over, our forebearers over, if they were on ship, they didn't commit suicide. This is something that has happened here lately. 20 years. Throwing children over the banister. But now we have to deal with it. And you can't deal with stuff just doing this. Because all of that goes and stays right in this carpet. Don't nobody like to dance more than you and me. But you got to get down to business. And we have not been guarding our children. Protecting them. You protect your child. Oh, come on here. So we got to get better. We got to get better. We got to get better. And you have to, you have to say no. You can't always say yes. You got to say no. You're not going on that trip. And they don't understand why now, but you'll tell them later on. Everything is not cute. Because it looks cute when it's 12, but it don't look cute at 17. When they're up in your face. Have, I want you in the house. Why? So you ask me why, just be in the house. You can get in here now. Since you said that, come in now. That's what I was raised. My mother said, I'll box your ears. Come here. So we.